Now, this is what I want to leave you with, and then I'll have a, another impartation for you tomorrow. Look with me at Luke 19 for us to end with. Luke 19. See, we're having to say, I don't fully understand last season. I don't fully understand everything I've gone through. I don't fully yet see clearly exactly where I'm going. But at, I'm in God's moment, and I'm in His time, and in this celebration that we're in this week, which is Feast of Tabernacles. In this celebration we're in this week, uh, I know I'm in right timing, and I know I will see the house differently. I'll see my house differently. You'll see yourself differently. God might reveal to you things you've held on to that you didn't even know you were holding on to. He might show you how you're limiting him to move in your life in ways that only you know. Because really the first step is your identity. And we'll hit that again tomorrow. But in this moment... He's calling us into this place because the whole era we're in is about seeing him differently. So Jesus entered Jericho, was passing through it, and there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was the chief tax collector, a superintendent to whom others reported, and he was very rich. There's a lot of wealth out there that the Lord's ready to bring into his kingdom plan. Zacchaeus was trying to see who Jesus was. But he couldn't see because of the crowd because he was real short in stature. He ran on ahead of the crowd. He climbed up into a sycamore tree in order to see him. For he was about to pass through that way. When Jesus reached the place, he looked up, and this is what you have to understand about Jesus. He already sees you. You might, he's calling us to a higher place, but really what he's doing is seeing, will you climb up there? Because he already sees you. He already knows you. He's just waiting to see how you're coming up like John or Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus didn't know him. John did know him. To really see into your future. He said, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down for today. I've got to go to your house now that's really what the year's about he has to come to your house <laughs> now it's a visitation year he's coming to your house he's coming to where you are your house here, and your place. He, he's coming to visit the 13 colonies this year. He's coming. And he said, so Zacchaeus hurried down and welcomed Jesus with joy. Well, you know, have you ever noticed sinners sometimes are more excited about him than we who know it that needs to change this year when the people saw it they all began muttering in discontent they were mad because he was going to visit this sinner 
this tax collector, this rich man. He's gone to be the guest of a man who is a notorious sinner. I love that, notorious sinner. Everybody say notorious. <laughs> That's what the word means. Zacchaeus stopped and said to the Lord, See, Lord, I'm now giving half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anyone out of anything, I'll give back four times as much. Everybody say we're in the season of payback. And God's calling a lot of people up that doesn't know him that's going to be part of his payback. Because of what Zacchaeus was doing, Jesus said, today salvation has come to your house. Now listen to me. He does not think the same way we think. That they're going to all have to come up here and get down on their knees at the altar to get saved. That isn't how this harvest thing's going to work. He said, Zacchaeus, today salvation has come to your household because he too is a spiritual son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and save that which was lost, I found you up trying to see beyond where you had ever seen before. And because I see you, that you're trying to see beyond a place that you have, had ever been able to see before, I'm ready to come visit you. That's my word for the 13 colonies. It's not about the past. Even though God says you're going to retrace some steps that never got brought into fullness. So you can bring everything that I want it to be seen into visibility. But I'm ready for you to see beyond a place you have ever seen before. I am ready for you to go there. And I'm going to come to your house this year. Because starting today at Feast of Tabernacles, the 13 colonies are going to start rejoicing, worshiping, and seeing like never before. Let's stand up. <laughs>